Good morning, everyone. Well, for me, it's no longer morning. It is now the afternoon. I have spent a total of probably 20 minutes in my classroom at this point. It's now 2.30. Um, so let me tell you what happened. We're just going to have a little chit-chat for a little bit. So uh, I left early stopped at Michael's because I wanted to get vinyl to do some stuff that I needed to cut out and we're getting samples for the stickers that we're hoping to launch pretty soon um yeah by the way if you're not a part of the newsletter I would in my newsletter on the letteredclassroom.com definitely join the newsletter because you guys are going to get first dibs on stickers um so if you're wanting to get any type of teacher planner stickers the ones that I'm, I'm planning on coming out with um you'll see more of those really really soon but definitely join the newsletter if you haven't already i'll leave a link down below so you guys can go and do that okay off topic so i um brought my silhouette and was like man i'm gonna get a lot of stuff done ian was gonna stay home with my husband to get more work done today so I was like, dude, this is awesome. I'm gonna have so much time to get things done. Well, my whole fiasco with my tables yesterday, it, um, so ended up deciding we're gonna return all those tables. I was really upset. I was really like stressed out about it. And um, <clears throat> we started looking on Craigslist to see if we could find some type of alternative because I mean, we already have two tables that are kind of like your kitchen tables, and we we're like, well, why don't we just add more kitchen tables and see what happens? Well, we found this, I mean, beautiful, beautiful table, and it had two benches, and I'm like, oh my gosh, doesn't that remind you of the Great Hall, like when you're in Harry Potter and they're all sitting down? So I was like, oh, this would be cool. Try to contact her yesterday, and she um, didn't answer. Finally got in contact with her this morning, and she was like, yeah absolutely come and get it and so we're like what so i ran over to the house and told my husband we need to go get this table she's offering it to us we have to go all the way to gettysburg gettysburg is an hour from us um and we had to go in a truck so we all drove to gettysburg picked up the table came back dropped the table off at school went home i got my car came to work which worked for me like y'all when I say I drove to work like it's literally eight minutes like it's not far at all so did all of that and now I'm finally in my classroom didn't get anything done I made copies I started working on more data binder stuff but that was it that's all I got done but let me show you this table it's really pretty I mean it's kind of like roughed up but I love it like I love kind of the banged up feel of it <gasps> so pretty okay so I'm gonna turn you around so you can see it I mean isn't that like Harry Potter gorgeousness right there so I mean it has this little mark right here which my husband said he could fix it but it's not that that huge of a deal um, so there it is. So now what we've done is we've changed up the room to where this is in front. So here's my door. There's the first set of tables that you see. Um, I left the round one where it is. So that one's staying. Now I have this one. Then I moved the kind of kitchen table, the one that was in my house back here in the back. I moved the two sets over there, but now I don't have another table. That table is going bye-bye. We're sending that back to the company. I, we don't want to have anything that is theirs. We totally just want our money back. Don't want to have anything to do with them. So that's going to end up, that's ending up what's going to happen. So now the question is, is I still need, I would like at least four more spots for students because I have 24 kids. However, I want to plan to have at least... 26 in case I was to get more kids now I have a little more flexibility because I do have I do have these table these chairs right here which actually they're gonna be with the exercise ball so there's gonna be three exercise balls there so I do have that space but I want to have something out here um, my husband says that we should just get another table 
that'll fit four kids and put it there and get rid of the desk, like one set, of, both of these sets of desks. So I was originally just gonna get another set right here and put it here, but he's saying to get rid of this whole one and then have something to put over here or something to that extent. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I'm back at square one because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. Now I'm feeling like my classroom is still not shut up and it's driving me nuts. But it is what it is, and I'm going to have to get over it. Hmm. Um, so a company came and dropped off some bags of school supplies, which was really, really nice. So all of us got some school supplies. I have not looked through this, so I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm getting. Okay, so I think I have six of these bags, and I think they all have the same thing. I'm not really sure, so we're going to go through them. Um, so inside, you have just a two-pocket folder. Mm, dividers, paper, loose leaf paper, composition notebook, a ballpoint pen, index cards. Ooh, uh, these are nice highlighters, colorful highlighters, and uh, Purell which I totally love to have this size. The size is so wonderful. If you have not checked out already my field trips, I can't remember what I called it, field trip, trip trips and trips and tips and tricks or something to that extent, go and try to check it out um, because I do chaperone um, like bags for my chaperone so that they have kind of like a first aid chaperone bag. And inside of it, I use this like hand size of Purell because you never know what you're gonna go and things get a little icky so I'm gonna leave a link down to that so that you guys can go and check that out I'm pretty sure all of these have the same thing yes but that's really nice I mean like think about it like there's six things of these six of these six of these six of these that was really nice of them to do that oh thanks company was so sweet um, okay so yeah this was in my room when I got back um I don't know what to do I'm still loving on my flags mm, look how pretty those are okay so I think what we're gonna do is see we have it's almost like every other one so we skipped this one I think we're gonna move these two back so this one's gonna go here this one's gonna go there so there's not so much of a gap right there I think that's what we're doing but they look lovely and that table y'all is I mean look at it and I love the little Ikea plant that I put in front of, on top of it <laughs> I think that's probably one of my favorite parts. Look how pretty that is. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, what am I doing? Tomorrow the school is closed. I think this is the last Friday that the school's gonna be closed. Well, actually we really only have two more Fridays. We have this Friday and then we have next Friday and then school starts. This Friday, tomorrow, the school is closed. Um, and then, our principal's actually gonna open up the school on Saturday, so we're gonna come Saturday to get some things done. Um, so I'll be at home tomorrow, just probably working on stuff on the computer and getting some things done there. And probably working on stickers too, so I need to do that as well. I don't know y'all, like I feel so discombobulated right now. Like I honestly don't know what to do with myself. So Anne dyed the burlap again to make it a darker blue because it's just not dark, dark, dark which is nice so hopefully that'll be done for Saturday and then Saturday we can pull up the burlap and then that wall's pretty much gonna be finished um we have to find another table so maybe we can do that tomorrow I'm not really sure all right I'll talk to you guys in a minute I don't know what to do with myself oh, bye so I have yet to accomplish anything Y'all, I'm so sorry about this vlog this today for today. I am just not with it <laughs> at all, which is awful. Um, I did get my pride, although I'm not. I don't.
don't know how much I love it. Do you see it? Don't know how much I love it. I don't know. I had completely forgotten that I have, um, if I haven't already told you guys, which I don't think I ever told you, I think I did a vlog on it, but then I had to scrap that vlog, vlog or I can't remember to be honest, but I am a part of I Teach TV Network with Sheila Jane. Um, she is the founder of I Teach TV Network, which is, she brings together a bunch of um, teachers and vloggers and bloggers and just people who are really good at a certain specific area. And then those people provide quick 15 minutes um, professional development lessons on their topics. So my topic is putting students in the driver's seat and keep getting them into uh, leaders of their own learning. So like your data binders and your project-based learning and that type of deal. So I have my is my show is the second Thursday of every month. We are on Periscope right now, but this is the last month that we are on Periscope. We are then transitioning to Facebook Live because Facebook Live is just where it's at. It's what's happening, it's what's new, it's what's awesome. So I have a Periscope tonight with I Teach TV Network and mine is supposed to be on data binders. What I had planned for data binders is not gonna happen just because with the move and then everything with me getting my classroom started, I think I'm just doing like a Q&A tonight. So I'm just gonna sit there and hopefully some people have some really awesome questions. So that's what I'm gonna hope for. Um, but yes, so I completely forgot about that. It's at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern time, um, which was 7 p.m. Central time for me. So yes, and you can go back and rewatch those. So by the time this, by the time you guys are watching this, it would have already been done. But you can always go back and rewatch those. So you can go on to Periscope under the I Teach TV Network and you can rewatch all of the um, Periscopes that are on there. So you can see those, the, the old ones. And yes, so you can go and watch that Periscope second Thursday of every month if you are interested in learning more about my data binders. And I'll provide just some quick professional developments and helping you get started in your classroom and some things that you should be doing in your classroom as far as getting your students in the driver's seat and getting them um, to take control of their learning. So I'm going to start cleaning up. I'm just not with it y'all. I'm just not. So I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I will definitely be here on Saturday to get a few more things finished. Hopefully I'm a little bit more motivated. I guess the goal on Saturday is to finish this wall, get up my vinyls up there, and get up my chalkboard. That's what I want to have accomplished on Saturday. So I think I'm going to write that down so I remember. Okay, so I have a little bit of a dilemma, and I want to get your guys' opinion on it and see what you guys think. So be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Here's my dilemma. So I'm doing my data binders, and I did want to stick with data binders. I'm not going to do the um, prong folders. Here's why, because I'm gonna have them putting things in and out of their binders. So I want it to be something that's very easily, something where I can just easily put things inside of their binder. And they don't have to take out all the papers with the folders and the prongs, it's just a whole hot mess. So, initially, I, well, I am, I'm not, I'm. I'm not gonna not do this. Um, I've started putting numbers on here. And here's what the, the S stands for. So I didn't, I did not feel like it was a great thing to have, you know, 48 numbers. So it's easier to remember, you know, my class and her class as far as numbers and what names are arranged, whatever because I assign numbers for my students. So, and that way it makes it easy. I can use it every single year and I don't have to redo them, so it makes it simple. So here's what I'm gonna do. Everybody's gonna keep their homeroom teacher. So if your homeroom is Spackman, your number's gonna start with an S. So you'll be S1 through all the way to S24. And if you are with my partner teacher who is Wolf, your number is going to start with a W, so you'll be W1 all the way to W24. So the students don't have to remember 32, 30, some blah, 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 blah. I feel like it's easier to do it this way. It makes more sense in my brain, so that's what I'm doing. So I've made all of the little labels. You guys see that? 
So I've made all of these little labels and some of them are with S's and then some of them are with W's. So these are gonna be, ooh, focus. These are gonna be student boxes. So all of their materials that they're gonna keep from my class are gonna be in here. Well, here is the dilemma, is that the data binders don't fit in there. Composition notebooks, their pencil box, all of that other stuff fits in there. Their folders fit in there except for their data binders. So I have to figure out where I want to put them. Here was the options. I have two different options. The first is that I keep this whole section for binders and put all, my, all of their binders in this section. That is one option. Now I'm going to lose two shelves as far as where my books go. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to handle that. This is option number one. And then another thing that with this is, you know, if students start taking these out, you know, they start to fall over. It's a whole hot mess. I had to deal with it in kindergarten. It was a little bit crazy and I'm kind of reluctant to do this. Here is the next option. So the carpets are getting cleaned out in the hallways. So I had to bring the shelf that was out in the hallway in front of my door inside of my classroom. So I stuck it kind of in front of the window. It's a not a huge like in your face spot or whatever, but it's nice. And it's the shelves that I used for my library in my old classroom. Or I could put them right here. So all of their binders would fit in here and I think I would be able to have one or two spots open and I could use those to put like fun plant or fun pictures or something that kind of relates to Harry Potter or whatever. So um, those are the options. I can put it here, which I promise y'all it does not look bad. Like I feel like it looks bad on camera. So there it is. So they walk into the door and it automatically says Professor Spackman right there and it has my mat over here. Um, when you're looking at it from this little point of view, that's what it looks like. That table's not gonna be there, by the way. So, I could very well just leave that there because it does not get in my face or anything like that. It covers up that window, but that window's not a big deal. I have a curtain in front of it anyway, so it's not really anything that you need to see. Or I figure out what to do with my books, which I don't know exactly what I would do, but I would use those two shelves. So you tell me, do you think I should put it where my books go and figure out what to do with some of my chapter books or leave that shelf in my classroom and use that to be able to put their data binders and then they can just get their data binders from there and all of the other supplies their journals their you know their boxes that they have for their um, supplies all of that stuff will still go into those cubbies over there that's the question of the day i would love your feedback please let me know down in the comments. You guys are awesome. So I'm starting to wrap up because I told you guys that I was pretty much done for the day. I'm feeling kind of pooped. I think it was a really, really, really hot day today. And with us being outside and just moving stuff, y'all, I get so irritable and straight up drained when I'm outside in the heat and I just, I just couldn't handle it. So I think that's what did me in today. I still love my table though. It does look very pretty. My husband was so was so right about this table. It's gorgeous. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. I love it. Um, Saturday goals. So I have my goals. I have my goals up here. So I want to get the chalkboard. Um, I have a quote that's going under the choices word and then I have the keep the quote that needs to go up for vinyl. I want to move these big tables out of my classroom and then student boxes need to get sorted. So I'm going to have my son actually sort all of the different supplies that go into these boxes. That's going to be his job. That's his job and then cleaning out all of those cubbies are gonna, is gonna be his job. And then I'm sure my husband's gonna try to figure out to put up, a way to put up the clock. So I might, we might figure that out, I'm not really sure, but that's about all I have planned. <laughs> I am exhausted and I'm really, 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 really ready to go home. Let me show you what they look like without anything being done. So we bought felt, I used felt for this project and I cut them about eight and a half across. That's the width of it. 